Frame.io is a web-based video review and collaboration solution. It enables geographically dispersed project constituents and teams to share and comment on video projects in a structured, flexible, and secure environment. The purpose of this video is to get you familiar with all the current features of Frame.io as quickly as possible. To get started, customers need to choose a plan. First, they select between an individual plan or a company plan. There are two individual plan options. The starter plan, which is limited to three projects, 10 gigabytes of storage, and up to 10 collaborators. And the professional plan, which has unlimited projects, 50 gigabytes of storage, and up to 25 collaborators. For either of these plans, you can choose a monthly subscription or an annual subscription, which is discounted from the monthly rate, most substantially for the starter plan. Both plans have the option of a seven-day free trial. You just need to enter an email address, your name, a password, and a credit card, and you can cancel any time before the trial expires. If you don't want to select a plan, if you scroll down, you can try Frame.io for free without a plan. You get one project, 15 uploads, and two gigabytes of storage. With this option, you don't need a credit card. Just enter an email address, name, company name and password to create an account. Note that neither of these individual plans include team members. So what's the difference between collaborators and team members? Well, collaborators can only see and comment on projects they've been invited to. They can't share content or add new users to a project. Team members, on the other hand, can share content and add users. They can access all public projects and projects they've been invited to. It's important to understand that you can share presentations and review links with any number of external parties who are not team members or collaborators. They don't need to sign up or log in to view shared projects and add comments. If you need team members, then you'll want to look at company plans, of which there are three to choose from. The team plan has unlimited projects, 100 gigabytes of storage, up to 50 collaborators, and up to five team members. The business plan bumps the storage up to 400 gigabytes with unlimited collaborators and up to 15 team members. Both can be subscribed to either monthly or annually with a discount, and both offer free trials. The Enterprise Plan adds multi-team management, watermarking, single sign-on, and more, and is custom-priced based on customer needs. When you enroll in a plan, you're paying upfront for the month or year and you can cancel at any time in a billing cycle and keep access until the end of that cycle. For more information, scroll down for a very helpful FAQ. If you exceed your storage needs under your plan, you can contact support to get an increase. You can also upgrade your plan mid-cycle, and you'll be billed on a prorated basis. If you exceed a plan limit, you'll see a warning and you'll have six days to fix the overage or upgrade. If you haven't addressed the overage after seven days, your account will be locked. Once you've selected a plan and created an account, you can manage your account settings, which we'll tackle in the next lesson.